Good morning, Spaceman. Welcome to Space Operations Delta. I'm Captain Collins and welcome back to X4 Foundations. Today, with a new beta, we have 4.2 beta number one just released a few hours ago. And today we're going to talk about that. Before we start, a very quick introduction to myself. I'm Captain Collins. I stream on twitch.tv slash Captain Collins from Sunday to Thursday. Every Thursday X4, every other day something else. So today, while we were streaming X Rebirth, yes, we're streaming X Rebirth, and today is the day of the 8th anniversary of X Rebirth. One person from Egosoft came in, and the only thing that he posted was a link, and the link was to the new public beta, version 4.2 beta 1. And we're going over this right now. As we did already a few times, this will be an overview. And whenever there is something that we need to take a look at in game, we will do that, of course, afterwards. So a lot of players had issues with the out of system combat in their X4 game. So there were a lot of posts in the Egosoft forums. There were a lot of posts on Reddit and so on. People also said uh, things about that in stream and they are now fixing these issues. And not only that, they're fixing even some issues that maybe not that many people are bringing to the table anymore, but it's still an underlying issue which is not working. Like, for example, your own police force is now working way better. I have proof for that from other people that are in my Discord channel. If you want also to talk a little bit about X4 or other games, or for example, X Rebirth, then you find the link to the Discord channel in the description down below and go and say hi. I'm always there. I'm always checking what are people writing and we have a very responsive community. And the first thing is already that what we talked about, improved combat simulation when player not present. They had some issues with the amount of damage and, and the precision of L the type guns when fighting against smaller ships or when fighting yeah, against yeah, each yeah. other. So yeah. the calculation was off. It, it didn't work that well. And that seems to be fixed right now. Improved coordination between multiple free flying police operating in same sector. Not only that, but also the improvement is for any police in your sector. This is a small blurry picture from my Discord server where error name posted that and he said that the police force is now even engaging cog stations uh, that are being built in your own sector they are flying there they're engaging in combat and they're trying to get rid of that potential threat so that's a good thing i'm glad that they worked on that and keep on in the next thing is very very nice for a lot of us improved memory usage safe game size and times to start new game, save and load. They are working on making the safe games better, maybe more compressed, maybe in a more efficient way so that you do not have to load in these huge XML files, these over 100 megabytes of files into your game. So these were already three things that got improved in the first beta. We're talking right now about 4.2 beta number one. That means we're now back in a beta season. And that means we also will see stuff added, improved, fixed, maybe removed from the game throughout this beta phase, like it was for 4.1. And maybe along the way, somewhere along the way in 4.2, we'll also see added multiplayer online seasons please be patient with all of us we're waiting for the multi multiverse whatever this was called multiverse online season we're waiting for that to come out it will be potentially in the beta phase of 4.2 i have no proof but hey when we're not in a 420 release right Okay, next one. Fix being unable to set Yaki story as complete for custom game starts if not successful in mission. That means if you have done the Yaki story and it was maybe a failure in your game, but you want to check it right now for a custom game start and do not want to do that again, then this is possible now. Fixed flight school getting stuck if certain non-critical inputs are not mapped. 
Fix the small errand. Mission getting stuck if all lockboxes are opened in quick succession. You're too fast. You're not too furious. Fix the meeting mission. Not triggering mission guidance properly after fleeing patrol. Fixed fleet delivered in the mediator's mission absorbing realm of the Trinity job ships. That tells me that the stuff that they're working on, the technical stuff, does maybe need some more time to be fixed in the end. And they worked a lot on these improvements and of course some people, the mission team, does need some work so they are working to improve every single mission so that you have the best experience. Fixed capital ships with main weapons, for example the Asgard, being excessively effective when player not present. Okay, why did you need to fix that? Because we have a big gun on that thing? Yeah, okay, fine. Fixed mining drones on player ships, sometimes collecting empty or incorrect asteroids. Fixed mining drones, sometimes undocking or self-destructing shortly after having returned to launching ship. <laughs> These drones, I like mining drones and cargo drones are stuff that I really, really don't like in X4 because they're acting weird all the time and I have a problem with using them. Fixed station-based traders, sometimes selling more than what their customers wanted. <laughs> Has to be a Teladi. Fixed subordinates mimicking auto trader not logging their trades. So this is interesting. If you have an auto trader and you have subordinates mimicking the order of the leader here, the auto trader, they're not logging their trades. I have seen that a few times. That if you mimic an auto trader, it does not really work that well. But this could now work if you want to move like huge masses of resources because your your auto trader the the, the first leading ship does not have enough space for all that you want to bring over so you have a, a, a kind of a fleet with one auto trader and a lot of mimicking orders and they can just haul all of that together Fixed turrets set to attack my current target, continuing to fire after target changes ownership to non-hostile. Especially when you're boarding a ship and the ship is finished boarding and it's yours, that could occur and the ship is getting destroyed. By the way, this is still something that happens in X Rebirth. I saw that and I was angry. <laughs> Fixed large turrets missing small targets by aiming at wrong position. That is really, really, really interesting and I want to see that in action. Fixed turrets often failing to fire at large moving targets. Another thing that also translates into the OOS combat problem that we had with the current patch. Fixed free ship repair exploit. Um, what is that? Could, like, can you tell me what that is? Free ship repair exploit? Can you, can you tell me in the comments what, what that means? I have no idea. Like, I want to know. Maybe I'll go back to the older version if you, if you let me know how I do that. Fixed Phoenix main battery effective rate of fire. Does that mean it shoots faster or does that mean it shoots slower? By the way, let's check out how fast now this new safe game loading is. And I don't know if it even affects the, the games right now because this is still an old save. So if you ask me, that loading time was pretty much the same. But I do have a Phoenix and we can take a look at what the Phoenix does. And therefore we go into the game and just take a look at what uh, the main batteries of the phoenix now fire oh hell yeah they are way faster do you see that i don't want to i don't want to fire at this one here or actually you know what oh whatever there you go. oh these are way faster but i think did they reduce the damage i mean the damage over time is basically the same i guess but I guess they removed the damage for the single shots. Look, it's way faster than before. Anyway, cool. That's good to know. The Phoenix is now way faster. Back to this here. Fixed potential issue with screen being stuck to black on integrated AMD GPUs. For all of you that using that sweet 5600G 
APUs. Good stuff, best way to game right now if you really need a graphics card and you can't get a graphics card. So we have these things here that are the most important ones. Maybe I need to save my game again because I guess, I guess we need to save once after you upload, uh, after you updated your game so that it affects your save game. And that was already it. Thank you so much for being here and taking your time to watch the new changelog with me. I'm sorry that I'm posting not that many videos lately, but I have to do a lot of stuff for my studies. I will come back stronger and better to YouTube after I finish the bachelor's degree. But I have to thank all my Patreons. I do have like three Patreons at the moment. Thank you so much for that. And we're talking here about May Bolona, the symbolizer and their cookie. Thank you so much for being a Patreon to this channel and everyone else. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe and see you on the next one. We're in beta season. Yeah.